ह्रीं श्रीं नमो भगवते हनुमते मम कार्य सुज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल आसध्यम साधे साधे माम रक्षम रक्षम सर्दुषुभ्यो हूं भट स्वाहा नमो भगवते हनुमते मम कार्य सुज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल आसध्यम साधे साधे माम रक्षम रक्षम सर्दुषुभ्यो हूं भट स्वाहा All right, we're making some deer sandwiches. Yeah, I wanted to show you uh, how these warlord skills actually work in the field. So I'll just be showing you uh, Argos phase one to phase three. Um, disclaimer, this run is not our best by far. This is probably one of our worst. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. Shield is up, doing my thing. This boss hits like a bitch. He doesn't hurt at all. Like even when I first uh, tried him, like all of us were just like, "What the hell? Has he been nerfed to shit?" Because he didn't hurt that much. Nobody really died, and yeah, like the boss just died, and we were just like, "What the fuck? That's it?" Felt like we were bowling with bumper lanes. Phase one now is like pretty much a joke. I think this was one of our worst runs because. Like nobody gave a fuck. Like nobody was. They're probably watching Netflix on the other screen. Not like I did that or anything. We're off to a great start. We got a disconnect already. No big deal. I just hope you can make it back in time. So you stand in the circle so you don't die. And at this stage, uh, we just stop hitting him. I hit him once by accident. It's no big deal. Just a little love tap. So yeah, in this phase, we don't hit him until the bar under the boss runs out. Um, you'll see it winding down around his body. Oh, I got hit by that. So when you're sun, like you want to stand in the yellow AOE. And when you're moon, you want to stand in the purple one. I'm just stabbing him here and there. I wonder what Argos tastes like. Nice dodge there. Alright, so he's down, so I'm gonna ulti here. You know, unfortunately, no crit, but it's okay. Just keep going, keep churning out the damage. They might not all be crits, but they add up. Unlike the numbers, when they're not crits, they just seem so small. They don't flash yellow and give you that effect and satisfaction of, like, oh, I'm doing big damage, but those white numbers, they still add up. So shield is up. Boss goes center means you gotta run into one of these pizza shapes. It's always gonna be the same, five o'clock or seven o'clock, depending on whether you're moon or sun. And we're just strategically stretching his asshole open. Uh, and yeah, I just use the rush shield to get to him without uh, putting my shield down. Recharge the shield hop back so that I jump towards the boss. The funny thing is like if it's not like a really intensive move that you gotta dodge, like a move that will stun you or earthquake you, like this boss sometimes does, like most of the times you're gonna be jumping like dodging towards the boss. Because you just wanna get close to him and beat the fuck out of him. Our one guy's still disconnected. Maybe we'll go for a server first, seven man clear. <laughs> I mean, man, Argos has been nerfed to shit, I think. It was just too easy. Like, when it first came out on KR, I saw people doing it for hours. And we just killed it on our second try when it first came out. And we were just like, what the hell? That's it? And we just waited till next week to do phase two. Same story. So around like, actually, phase two might have been our first try. I'm not sure. I think it was, which is crazy. So here we go, pizza phase again. Big jump. That was unfortunate. Uh, half the raid party is now dead. So we push on. A uh, lot of hopping, a lot of jumping. You want to learn how to use your movement skills and have them be second nature. It depends on like how far a boss will move away from you. You want to learn if you would like to use 
the shield rush or the leap attack depending on how far the boss is if you can reach him with one leap attack then you want to use the leap attack because it's the fastest and it hits the hardest and then uh, you can still get your second jump in as well to maximize your damage uh, if the boss is closer and you want to get all your shield rush in and you would use shield rush if the boss is absolutely super far away then you just want to use your shield rush even though you won't get any, any hits in it'll carry you the furthest the quickest um, yeah so just little things like that make a pretty big difference over a long span of time that you're fight fighting a boss like this boss i think takes 10 minutes and yeah uh, around 10 minutes and in that time like, you'll see a lot of those situations and where you gotta choose like which skill is the uh, which skill is gonna give me the maximum benefit so yeah it's just something to think about warlord has super armor when they dodge so you can like iframe a lot of moves I think it's almost every move you can iframe with the Warlord dodge. And um, I believe it's the same for Destroyers as well. Uh, for those that might not know what an iframe is, um, I'll explain real quick. So basically, when you're in the movement of dodging, you're invincible from CCs, stuns, earthquakes, whatever. So it's good. You can still take damage, but you just won't be CC'd and you'll have uptime on the boss. Super useful for Warlords, especially. So, phase one is done. Uh, this part, I kind of fucked up on the recording, so you'll see me start phase two, like, towards the beginning. Um, it'll come up right here. Yeah, right here. Like, I, I started recording, I wasn't aware that the boss is doing a wipe mechanic. I'm just tunneling as usual comrades are pinging me like hey get the fuck over here slowly make my way over with my shield up <laughs> continuing the damage this phase is pretty much tank and spank except for the white mechanics in phases two and five two and four but yeah boss is down i made a mistake here my shield should have been up i thought it was up and i realized it's not because I just got stifled. I jumped because I saw that Argos was charging me and I used the iframe on the jump so I won't get stifled again. Uh, here I'm kind of derping. I should have been back on the boss. I was kind of wondering where, where he went but I should have known that he goes to the middle here. Just beating on him. Basically using everything off cooldown at this point. Like, uh, buff timing windows, they're important to use, like, utilize, and recognize, but at the same time, you also have to realize that when you're not using your moves, because you're waiting for a buff timing window, like, you're losing DPS as well, so there's a trade-off, and it's good to keep in mind. I like to just use the buff timing windows when they're available, like when the stars align in my rotation. Or when there's like downtime like this and then uh, you know all my moves are basically off cooldown and i can just execute a full rotation but otherwise like everything else is just off cooldown over here i kind of go turbo mode because i hate this phase i hate these rock guys so yeah just beat him beating him like a dusty rug you gotta free your teammates if they get frozen that's why i kind of like I, I like to dodge a lot in this phase because there's repercussions. Like the Falcon Punch hits pretty hard. This Tornado Punch that they do. This AoE kind of hurts. Um, some of the moves will freeze you. Like that, that move right there, it fucking hurts. So it's good to just dodge that if you can. Who said Warlord doesn't have to dodge anything? No, I mean, I could probably eat that to the face too if I want, but that's probably better not to. Especially because we only have six lives left. Or six people left, rather. As for ulties, 
during a boss fight. I would say always wait for the boss to fall. That's kind of like the standard rule, but I know some people who use it right off the bat. The logic being that they can use it again ASAP. And they can use it probably one more time or two more times. Over here I point the gun so that it'll hit both the boss and the teammate and free him. Five head plays. <laughs> and I just really enjoy the combat in this game. I think it's uh, it's the game's strongest point. Like, the combat is just so good out of almost every game I've played. It's so fluid. There's a lot to learn. There's a high uh, there's a high skill ceiling. So yeah, like I I played multiple different classes and they all have like a, a special caveat to them. Did I pronounce that right? Well, anyways, yeah, like. They all have like something that you have to be aware of. And uh, the, the playstyles, they all feel really distinct. Alright, so the boss is down. Ulti, nice juicy crit. And we'll be going back to the main boss soon. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, going back to the main boss now. Oh, what the fuck? We only have five people alive? I was not aware of this when I was actually doing the raid. I guess I was tunneling too hard. <laughs> I swear, I'll probably be the, the worst support. Like, in any game, I've never played a support for this reason. So I just tunnel too hard. And from this point on, it's pretty much tank and spank. Nice and easy. Like, I, I don't know how this phase is harder than uh, the first phase. I guess like there's a few um, a few parts of it that are harder, but for the most part, like this ending right here, it's kind of anti-climactic kind of, because it just becomes like a regular tank and spank. It's so easy. There's no new moves, at least that I know of. Maybe he's supposed to start doing more damage, but they just nerfed it so hard that it just doesn't hurt at all anyway. So we just don't recognize it. But yeah, it's like an easy kill from here. Even with five people. Oh wait, what the fuck? Now it's only three people. It's me and two bards. <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, this was definitely one of our worst runs as a guild. I think we just didn't care. Like, we were probably like, watching TV doing our taxes at the same time yeah so it's just an easy kill though from here i think it yeah it's dead yeah so the first two phases fairly easy um the third phase it should be harder there's more um one shot mechanics to watch out for boss starts out with the charge once again his moves don't hurt they tickle kind of feel good and he dodged my ult fuck worst feeling i knew i should have waited until he was down i gotta say though phase three is pretty epic in the sense that there's just so much visual chaos going on like argos is just exploding his seeds everywhere like a motion picture directed by Pornhub. And now it's just regular tank and spank. Like no real special things going on. It's just, yeah, it's just beating the fuck out of him. I haven't used the potion yet and I don't plan to. Gotta save my gold. I got one of the best bards in the business. But even without, like, you should be fine. You shouldn't be using potions like this. Uh, now over here, I try to iframe and I fail, I get hit, so this is the point where he kind of starts going crazy, and you can see that his moves come out more sporadically, and yeah, he's like shooting some beam into the air, which is going to make all these random AoEs on the ground, stomping the ground, making huge AoEs, as a warlord, you don't have to dodge most of them. But you do have to care about your shield. 
you should be using it on cooldown and if you're slow with it like you won't be able to keep enough shield so that you don't have to dodge anything like you'll like, you'll eventually have to dodge if you're not on top of your shield um a little tip a little side tip that i can give you is that if you want to be super sharp and quick with your shield i would remap the what is it the x key i think um remap it to the mouse if you can if you have like a side button on your mouse um, it makes it a hell of a lot easier because you're not trying to press like w and x at the same time and be doing like finger twister on your keyboard um, yeah it's just a lot easier to have that key uh, map somewhere else i'm just speaking from my own experience maybe it's also just my preference but it's worked out well for me and like i said there's like a high skill ceiling uh, to this game and it comes down to like all these small details like the fine details and little things that you can do to get a little bit more damage here and there from good like building good habits and it plays a huge role in, you know getting the mvp or not or just you know, doing enough damage to to be part of the group. Like, I didn't put it in the, the build video because I wanted newer players to get the main ideas first and not overwhelm them with like all these small details that might not seem that important. But um, yeah, like in this video, I've already mentioned a few like using the movement skills properly uh, to do movement and damage at the same time. Remapping the shield key, the iframes, like all these little things, like they're not really talked about that much. And I feel like they're, like all together, they're all super important. Yeah, that's why I'm just doing commentary on the video, because these things come up as I'm watching the video and watching myself do these things. Like, I can mention it and hopefully share it with you guys. At this point, I just want this bastard to die. Alright, boss is down. My ulti's not up. My shield wasn't up either, what the fuck? So like, you know, these tips I give, I just want to say, you know, they're optimal, but they're also not going to be executed perfectly every time. Right? There's going to be times when you miss, and you know, if you can't do it right away, don't feel bad. Don't call me a scammer if you see me not doing it on this video at some time. Like, <laughs> no run is perfect, and I know that this run is far from perfect, but every run, like, you give it your best and try to be as optimal as possible. And yeah, it's good to just know these things so that you can always try to do more, to do better every run. And yeah, I think that's also part of the beauty of this game. Like, because the battles are so hectic and random, there's always a chance that you might not be able to do something that you intended to do, but you make it up and you just do better from then on. And yeah, like, that's what makes it fun. I really enjoy this game. Do I fucking miss that ulti? Fuck. Yeah, speaking of randomness, damn it. So yeah, it's boss. I think he's on his way out. I think he's about to die. Let's see. He just juked me like a hand one move. Damn it. Alright, so. Just beating him. Oh, he's dead. I hope you found some of the tips that I mentioned before in this video useful. And maybe watching this video will help you in some way. And that would be great for me. I would have done my job. And yeah, if you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe because. I'll be making more content like this and hopefully I'll be getting better at not feeling fucking weird sitting in a room talking into a mic by myself. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. See ya.